So we came across a video from Learn for Life and they seem to have created a free energy water pump. So it seems to be a very simple system. And it's a pump made from just a few PVC pipes and a water container. And it seems to pump water around without any power input. So they did seem to build a lot of these pumps, which suggests that there is some truth to it. But we are a bit skeptical whether it's actually true or it's fake. So we decided to just build this pump ourselves and see what happens. So our setup is finished now and just to clarify there's nothing inside the white bucket except for the two couplings we use to connect the pipes. And it's uh, really similar to the one we uh, saw in the video. So we'll uh, fill it up with water and we'll see what happens. First close this valve. So if you look close you can actually see the water level uh, within the bucket through the walls of the bucket. Okay, so everything is set up now and let's see if we first open up the inlet valve. And now once I open the outlet valve, uh, water should start flowing. At least uh, that's the idea. So let's see what happens. Oh, it does actually flow. Okay, but let's have a look at the water in the tank here. That doesn't seem to be dropping. And when we look at the, the white tank here, we can see the water level. And it seems as if the water is just dropping within the tank. Yeah, you also hear it bubbling. So apparently uh, every now and then air can get into the tank and then the water from the tank can flow out. So I think yeah, it's just emptying up the, the bucket right now. So it's not actually pumping water. And then probably if I open up the lid, then it should flow really quickly. Yeah. So now air can get in from the uh, upside and the water can just flow out. Okay, so as you could see, the pump doesn't really work. And uh, the bucket was just emptying the water uh, and it wasn't really sucking up water from below. And well, some of you will say that we missed some details or we did something slightly different than the original setup. Um, but I think this, this ID, this type of pump, it, it will never work. And I'll explain to you uh, why that is. Okay, so the setup doesn't work. And I think that makes sense. And I'll explain to you why. So probably the ID behind this pump is that it works because of siphoning. So we have two containers and once I let go, you can see that the water starts flowing from this top container to the bottom container. And in this center point, actually the water is moving upwards which is pretty interesting. Okay, so you can see that water is actually flowing when the exit of the tube is lower than the surface of the water source. But once I raise the tube, it will stop. So when the exit is higher than the surface of the water source, then uh, no water will flow and the siphoning will stop. Often siphoning is explained with a method such as this one. So we have a model here with marbles which are connected with a rope. And if you would put it like this, then there are approximately as many marbles here as here, and nothing will happen if I let go. But once there are more marbles on the downward side, so in case of the water pumping, there's more water on the downside than the upside, then the downward flowing water will pull up the upward flowing water, as you can see here. So if you look at this model, you might think that if the, there's more water on the right side, the weight will be heavier and it can pump up water from this side better. So that's what we saw in the video as well. There's a large container of water here that has a lot of mass. And because of that, you might think that it is uh, better at pumping up water and it can even pump up water from a lower level to a higher level. But that's not the case. And also this model is not physically correct. And the reason for that is that um, the flow of the water is not initiated by the weight of the water, but rather by the pressure of the water. And that's an important difference because pressure of water is only dependent on the height of a water column and not on how much water is actually in that water column. So if we look at the other side of this board, we see two tubes. And there's one big tube and one small tube. 
Okay, so once I start pouring water into this system, you can see that the height of the water in both tubes is equal, even though this tube is larger and there is more water in it, so more weight. This shows that the only thing that is important to determine how high our water will be in this tube is how high the water will be in the initial tube. So this means that when we're using siphoning, we can only go from a high point to a low point. And it doesn't really matter what's going on in between. So the tank we saw from the pump, it doesn't really add much to the siphoning effect. If the inlet is higher than the outlet, then it will work. And if the inlet is lower than the outlet, it won't work. And that's just always the case. So if we look at the pumps from Learn for Life, I think we should distinct between two situations. When they're pumping from a high point to a low point, then the system will work. But in many of their videos, you can't really see what the height of the inlet and the height of the outlet is. So it could very well be possible that they're just pumping from a high level to a low level and that the pump just works because it's physically possible. But at this point, what they're doing is basically siphoning. Uh, as I demonstrate, you could also just do this with a tube. You don't need the whole setup they built. But maybe their setup has some advantages, uh, which we don't know of. But if you're pumping from a low level to a high level, it is simply not possible. So generally, if you see a video that is called uh, free energy or free energy water pump, you should already be a bit critical. This is because energy never can be created out of nothing. It can only be used in a clever way. And an example of this is, for example, a hydraulic ram. Um, and we made a video on this, it's called uh, the Brugram. You can have a look at that if you are interested. And this pump actually pumps from a lower level to a higher level, but it uses the uh, energy of flowing water. Well, if you like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. We have a lot of other videos on, for example, uh, water supply or well drilling. Uh, and if you're interested in that kind of stuff, uh, really check out our uh, YouTube channel. And we also have a uh, very elaborate website with a lot of technology on it. So if you're interested, have a look there and uh, see if you find something useful. Thanks for watching.